Okay, everybody, we're here at the Transworld Show, and this thing looks pretty much done. Now, we're gonna make a lot of videos uh, over the next few days, um, but I'm gonna like run through this show, because it's pretty much set up now. So this is day three, and before we do that, I wanna uh, tell you about the Darkness Haunted House Tour. Um, the Darkness Haunted House Tour, the behind the scenes tour, has about 20 tickets left. So it's essentially gonna sell out probably today. The event is tomorrow, as the as I'm here recording this on a Wednesday. And I'll talk about it while I'm just kinda of showing you. There's a big inflatable section here. And we're just gonna kinda of sorta of walk through. And I'm walking through fast, okay? So if you wanna see what is here at the show, You'll get the gist. I'm not gonna move the camera around super fast, but you'll get the gist. And I'm not gonna walk through this Christmas section um, because we're gonna do a video tomorrow on nothing but the Christmas section. We're gonna do a video of it completely set up. Okay, I mean, we'll look at a little bit of it here. And then this is a booth for the East Coast Haunters Convention. Now, what I was trying to say, until I interrupted myself, and we'll look, at, like I said, we'll look at a little bit of this, and you can kind of get the, the gist of what's going on here. Um, the behind the scenes tour at the darkness has about 20 tickets left, and that happens tomorrow, which the, the date of this recording, is March the 6th and I'm gonna upload it probably gonna be on March the 7th actually when I upload it because I'm not gonna get home till after midnight but you're gonna get a really good idea of what's going on here at the show if you want to come to the show go to haashow.com and you're just kind of sort of getting a taste of how big this is and by the way, what you're looking at here, this is an all new hall that they just built here in St. Louis. This whole section is brand new. And you can see Christmas lights all over the place. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Everywhere the eye can see is Christmas. As you can see. And I'm not gonna look at every booth, and I have been criticized in the past for skipping booths, like I'm doing it on purpose. Now, I'm, uh, I'm basically trying to see, like you gravitate to like really cool stuff. Uh, and this looks escape room, 100% right here. That's what that looks like. Looks really cool. Don't know what all is going on in there but clearly escape room stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna walk past some of this stuff. Rigor mortis, the wonder packs, don't know what that means. <laughs> you have to come to the show. I saw some people posting about this. Haunt Barbie. Whatever the heck that means. I have no idea what that means exactly. And you see some escape room stuff, mobile escape room stuff. And then there's Exola, um, a booking company for escape rooms that I would never use because they charge way too much. And this looks like somebody selling signs. Over here we got a lot of taxidermy stuff. Some weird stuff too. Some really weird stuff. And there's like a skeleton with a lot of candles on them. Okay. Um. Anyway. And then let's walk this way. Look at that. 
black light. Oh, it's okay, they're just selling black light paint. There you go. And anyway, just getting back to the haunt, the Darkness Haunt tour. Looks like some costumes. Thrill builders. Looks like they were on Shark Tank. Um, Night Scream Studios selling a lot of vacuum form costumes over here. I mean, there's stuff all over the place. Now, really quickly, um, the Darkness Haunt Tour, on Thursday's behind the scenes tour, there's 20 tickets left. We're not adding more tickets. It's not going to happen. So there's 20 left. That's what's left. So if you want to come, there's 20 tickets left. It's costumes, Knight Brothers, and by the way, you can feel free to freeze when you see something you like and you want to get a better look at it. I wanted to walk over here and see this mermaid. Look at the mermaid. Yeah. Um, I'm literally getting off track here. The the Darkness Haunted House Tour on Thursday has 20 tickets left. Remember that Grim Life Collective is going to be doing a seminar with us. Look at the ornaments. Kind of cool. Let's, I think we already went down that aisle. We got pumpkins. Okay, we're going to dive down this way. This is a company that sells service to car pumpkins now i will say because it's just what i do um you want to create your own pumpkin patch do not hire in my opinion one of these companies for the simple reason that there are facebook groups with pumpkin carvers on them you literally can just get so on I that group buy your own pumpkins and hire somebody to carve them for you a lot cheaper that way <laughs> just saying um, now this is midnight studios booth and we're gonna take a look at all of his monsters and I'm gonna be doubling up here and shooting some footage for my my Instagram page See, look. Monsters everywhere. Midnight Studios here at Transworld. Lots and lots of cool monsters. Big monsters, too. There's the Violator from Spawn. Look at all these cool monsters. Let's get out here and take a look at the cool monsters over here. Cool monsters everywhere. We got a jack skeleton. And look at that monster there. You got a werewolf. It's pretty freaking cool. Now, just finishing up what I was been trying to say for 10 minutes. On Friday, we have the Lemp Haunted Tour. Now we did, in fact, offer a 30 minute, whoops, 30 extra minute interval, which allowed us to add an extra 50 tickets. Look at all the dead bodies. Okay, so there's about 24 of those left. And the only slot available is the 9.30. So you have to show up at 9.30. Um, the tour of the darkness with actors, that will start at, on Saturday at seven o'clock. And the only available slot on that one is the same thing, 9.30.
So there's about 50 tickets left to the darkness for Saturday night. And then on Friday, there's about 25 tickets left to the darkness, or for the lamp. And then the behind the scenes tour, there's about 20 of them left. And that's it. You can get your tickets at darkness dot fear ticket dot com Ow. almost tripped it is kind of dangerous <laughs> walking through these areas because if you're not looking and you're looking at a camera let's say then you could trip over something and then here's a company look at that cool gargoyle up there Chaos of facts. And I can hear John Denley over here now. <laughs> and there's John Denley. Man, the myth, the legend. And, and John. Available with fully posed black figures. I want to mention, and then there's uh, Ed the Reaper Gannon. Mm -hmm. Okay. My son Jack. Hi Jack. This is Professor Nightmare. Yep. I wanted to specifically come over here because I'm just doing a video like I do every year of walking through before the show starts. And you made a comment that I skipped your booth. Oh, you purposely skipped my video. You you threw shade at me. Uh, <laughs> Larry Hollow from from, from from Hot World threw shade down upon Boneyard. And we 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 rattled the internet. We we set a petition out. We we put a GoFundMe project out. Said, so send Larry back to us, and here you are. So you know what we're gonna do for you guys? We're gonna give you a special preview of something nobody's ever seen. All right, show All right. us. Show right, us. So here we go. This is. Okay. Let me get a token out, especially for your viewers. Okay. Obviously, it would be real money, but this is the curse doc. So we're gonna put it in here. I accept your offering. A powerful spell I will dispel. And that's your voice, I think. Now carefully choose the one you want cursed. <laughs> <laughs> so we can choose the boss, the ex, the in-laws, the co-worker, the in-laws, public figure, the neighbors, and it's a secret. And the in-laws. So Larry Kirsten's viewers have chosen the in-laws yes. <laughs> Now the candles stop moving. And he will curse you. the fire's mist with shadows dance, I weave a curse with voodoo's trance. With bones and beads, I call upon the night. I cast a spell that twists with spite. To your in-law I curse, and I send a twisted path with no amend. May their luck run dry as the desert sand, and misfortune cling to their every hand. Let their words be twisted, and their thoughts be clouded, and the web of my curse will be shrouded. May their steps be haunted by spirits unseen, and their dreams be filled with a dark and sheen. So beware, O oh in-law, of the curse I've spun in the realm of voodoo. Mischief is done. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, we got the curse dog. It's, it's, like it's like a twisted version of Voltan. Yeah, and now we got something that the industry has never seen before. You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now this here is the on talk. So we're gonna turn that baby on, all right? Yep. And we'll wait for that. Okay, we're gonna start this up. How much are they? Here we go. 
right over here watching. Laser blast. And then, of course, I shut it down. And Larry's going to love this one. The hell so. Alright. So let's start her up. You get the soul. Oh yeah, baby, here we go, start her up. Great thing is, no backpacks, 40 watt battery. How long does it last? That's all day. Real hey, were you gonna back. be here in about uh, 15 minutes? Yeah, look, speaker in the bottom, speaker thing, 100 watts. So come on over to Boneyard Production International, and you're taking orders on them. We're taking order on This is an exclusive from Wicked, Pro uh, Wicked Production, Boneyard Productions, and uh, it's um, it is uh, an insane thing. We got them here at the show, and we can get them to you in no time. 30 day turnaround. All right, I'll be right back. As yep. soon as I get to the end, I'm gonna come right back. Right. And I guess you're gonna have a lot of escape room puzzles. Oh, we got some crazy stuff. That is, uh, but I think. Uh, when you stop that over, we've got a demented brain that you have to actually put the syringes in and kind of make him go insane and lose his energy and his wits. You get to blow up Mars. You get to do all kinds of well, I'm gonna come back and so, see it. Absolutely. I'll be right back. So, and once again, I brought you some Mars. Hey, now one thing. Hey, this weekend while you're here, I wanna go to St. Charles and I want me and you to go play some pickleball. Sounds good. Pickleball? I, I don't even know what it is, but I'll go. All right, let's go do some pickleball. I'll throw axes with you, so I don't know what pickleball is. That All right, no, we're pickleballing. What the hell is that? You throw pickles at people? It's kind of like tennis, yeah. but for, you know, less physically fit. Well, it's I'm called pickleball. But me and you, we're going to go do pickleball. Okay, what about axes at the same time we play pickleball? Yeah, I think so. Right. And we'll make kosher pickles and, and dills and slice them. As long as it's still. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Those are just a few inside jokes. Now I gotta hustle it up, but that was really cool to see um, that uh, that chainsaw. Here's a company that makes magnets. We have a lot of booze to cover and the battery is going to die if I don't hustle. So we're gonna hustle and we're gonna skip this aisle because it doesn't look like and, it, and by the way i'm not skipping it because there's nothing cool there i'm skipping it because it looks like it's business to business type stuff and that's one of the things you got to come see when you're here and talk to those people and find out what they offer and it looks like we got some twisted hey how's it going And um, so we're just gonna kind of try to, we only have two bars on this, on this uh, camera. So we've got to like move. And I'm gonna be walking kind of fast. This is a, an annual thing for me to do a video the day before the show starts. And you wanna go, come down to the show you go to haashow.com and I can tell you this much lots and lots of mass okay and I mean a lot um, the show um, or oh, what I was saying there's many spotlight there all their stuff is really cool always cool and here's Distortion's booth. 
All their stuff is cool. And then we have Drop Dead. There's Wind Hinges Creek. They have a lot of stuff that's molded in resin. There's Ghost Ryan Productions booth. Creature Corpse. It looks like they have a lot of gory stuff. Toxic Facts. Lots of pumpkins. Here's the other side of Distortions booth. Monsters everywhere. And that is a really cool sign right there. That's a TV set behind there. Um, Dusk Productions. They obviously have a lot of props. Hey. And you can see all their characters that they have. And then there's, not sure who that is, another mask company, costume companies, Dapper Cadaver, they are always here. Looks like uh, somebody's selling retail stuff. And here's Fear Ticket, the best ticketing company that you could absolutely sign up for. And here is a Beastcraft. And all their stuff is super cool. And it looks like they have a big selection this year. And look at that bat. Oh, I would say that's pretty, pretty damn wicked. And look at that Grim Reaper. My God, that is really cool. And that's cool. I don't know if this stuff works. No, it's turned off. Christmas lights. And then that's Ghost Ride down there. More stuff from Beastcraft. I will say Beastcraft's got a lot of cool stuff. And here's the Mortal Mass. And now they have all of the bags off of the masks. Everything looks like it's ready to go. More masks over here. And here's a really cool booth. Original Sin. I mean, look how cool their stuff is. I'm gonna try to walk past it as slow as I can. But look, at the end of the day, this video is not intended to be an all-encompassing video. It's to kind of sort of give you a sampling of what's here. And here's Rib Effects. And here's uh, RCFX. Matt, uh, they sell. Look at that elephant man. He is really cool. One. Uh, one. So anyway, what I was saying was, and look at that guy right there. He's pretty cool. Um, this company right here, uh, I don't have a problem with them, but it's not really a good deal. Um, where they invest in your haunt, not in my opinion. Um, and they do all of your marketing and then they take a percentage of all your revenue. You would be better off trying to figure out how to do the marketing right yourself. So you wanna get your haunt to be more successful? Find some people local to help you with all the digital marketing. There's Pale Night. And then here is Midnight Mayhem Apparel. And here is CFX booth, and we'll walk past that. Hey, what's up, hey. man? Hey, I'll be over there. And let's just take a quick peek. Um, I would never, never endorse giving a percentage of your business to anyone for them to do the marketing. Uh, that is a big never. As in ever, never. Hey, how's it going? Get back together. That's a Taylor Swift song. <laughs> um, marketing is not that complicated. It's actually easier than it used to be. It's just some of it's complicated to understand how to put it in place. 
and that's why you get people to help you. Hello. We're kind of sort of getting to the end here, thank God, because my battery is only going to last so long. Here's Gord Laura's booth, and here's Studio Tech Effects. be able to make it and here's froggy fog they sell scents and everything else anyway just getting back to that it's really important that you learn how to do digital marketing yourself and there's shattered effects right there macabre intentions we still have two bars but once it gets to one bar, it's going to die. I want to mention too that I didn't go by a Ghost Rides booth because those guys were super busy over there trying to get their uh, their booth done. So I thought it was best. And I think this is uh, um, Alan Hops. And here's Hallucination Creations. He's got a lot of cool stuff in here. And then they said they're going to have some animations on this side along with all these masks. And he's got a lot of animations, let me tell you. Um, here's a company right here, they work with us. They make fingernails and all kinds of other cool stuff. And then now we're coming up on Fright Props. And there they are. I don't see anything going off. But we're going to kind of sort of dash into the dark zone. All right. Is that okay? Uh, it looks like this is an animation. And then, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're talking about their booth, Poison Props, all their stuff is like programmed to kind of go off one after another. So, like, you can see one going off over there. Man, that's Jeepers Creepers kind of stuff. This will be the most trafficked area of the show. Where the animations are. There's a gas station in here. And there's Greg with his animations. Poison props always does, which is the animations just go kind of go off in order. So that would mean this electric chair is going to go off. And this is killer prop. continue to make our way around. There's a really cool werewolf. Never Mortis. And you can see um, Poison Props' um, animations are not currently going off. But you, you can see there's a ton of them. And I mean an absolute ton. And then you have Scare Factory, and you can see one going off right now. A big one. And it looks like it's all coming together. Do these go off on their own? Yeah, we haven't programmed. Oh, they're not programmed, okay. So, whoops, excuse me. I might come back here later tonight and do another video. Because these guys will be here really, really late. <laughs> hey, Dave. And there's your big animation, right? Yeah, he's... Oh. 
then you got all these like witches over here, which pumpkin witches. Oh, there's an animation jumping out, and there's another one. You can see it up there. We're kind of going off here and there. Okay, it says 10, 9, 8, 7. What's gonna happen when it gets to zero? This is gonna be interesting. Welcome to Poison Props. Ah, okay, so it's kinda going through a laundry list of their animations. There's one going off. Poison Props has a really nice video up here. Hey Doug. Hey Larry. How many animations do you have in there? 42. 42. All right. 42? Is that not including all those over there? That doesn't include any of that. No. All right. Looks good. And that's the owner of Poison Props. Hey, look at this. It's Willy Wonka. I'm just gonna walk through, there's a vortex tunnel. I'm gonna walk through, and if there's anything I miss, we'll just catch it before the battery goes dead. Now the battery might go dead while I'm talking, and that's just, it is what it is. But make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Now I'm gonna tell you really quickly that I'm making about 20 videos of Transworld. I'm going to uh, make a video of the top 10 animatronics, the best props, all of that. Oh, there we go, John Hull. Hold on. And we're gonna see if we can scurry over to Ghost Ride's booth. But either way, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, and oh, several videos are gonna be coming. So we we are gonna have enough battery life to quickly come over here to Ghost Ride's booth. Look, you got a fly, a guy with his head off. Like a uh, okay. Stranger Things character. You want Missy? Anyone. Okay. Coming. And look at that disgusting thing. Larry. <laughs> hey. You're not even supposed to be in here. Let me see your vendor badge. He's screwing with me. Fear tickets. Your booth. You want me to show you where your booth no, is? No, kill what you're over here. there. Anyway. You know we don't like showing this stuff until the pay in public comes in. Oh yeah, I'm sure. All right, man, you All take right. it easy. We'll see you, Larry. Hey, it looks great. Thank you. And I took your suggestion. What's that? You told me last year, you said, hey, Michael, you gotta just bring everything. Like bring the house. Garage sale. Bring everything. So we brought over 150 items. So how many pieces, you have 150 pieces? Over 150 pieces? pieces. I think 70 of them are brand new. Now is everything for sale? Take everything it off the show? Everything for sale. Um, well, and you're taking orders. This is not a cash and carry show. We do sh sell our show samples. Hey, uh, how do they uh, order from you? Uh, here at the show or? They can order at the show. If you don't order at the show, you're probably not going to be able to get product this year because we're limiting our sales. But go to GhostRide. GhostRide.com. Yep, there you go. And if you go to our website, um, we've been doing some changes on the website, but if you go to our website, you're going to be able to order as though you're at the show. Hey, my battery's going to go dead because the whole thing is done. I saved you for last. See, the best for last. Okay. What is the most, the thing you're most excited about this year? Um, we got some pretty cool and unique characters that have really crazy silhouettes. So We have to hurry. Yeah, like these street zombies. See these? Yeah. They're just like zombies in these really oh, wacky yeah, poses. Oh yeah, crazy poses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we're yeah. kind of we're hand doing those so we get the right look on them. But those are the those are the ones I like the best cuz breaking up that silhouette is what you need for the haunted house cuz if you're in the dark and you see that, you don't know whether that's an actor playing around or whatever. I so, agree with you. That does look cool. Yes. That is very clever. So thank you for the suggestion cuz we brought the house this year. Well, I'm uh, happy to see it, and hopefully you get it all ready to go. 
will be ready. All right, you take care, Mike. Right, thank you, Larry. And you know what? Nobody wants to see me on camera. I've made enough videos where you've seen me. So uh, we'll just sign off. When I see the camera go red, then that means the camera is about to die. And this is a no editing video, meaning like there's no editing, just walking and talking. And once again, if you want to come to the show, obviously you can press these buttons, but nothing's turned on. Um, those vultures look real. I, I mean, it, this, this stuff is really cool. I would say it's really perfect for haunted overload, for sure. But, um, like and subscribe to the page. We have more videos coming your way. Um, all coming soon. And let's see what else. I like that chair, Dust Productions chair. And by the way, a lot of this stuff, you don't know what it is. You don't know what it is unless, um, you don't know what it is unless, you know, um, you actually get them to trigger it or see it. That's why you need to come to the show. You need to come to the show and check out the show right here in St. Louis at the Trans World Convention Center. It's um, haashow.com. And it's right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And we invite you to come here to St. Louis, Missouri. Um, this is VFX. They're from St. Louis area. I'm trying to see if we missed anything. I don't know. I really flew through the show, so who knows? And there's that booth. The mirror maze. It's actually a mirror maze. And you can see the CFX masks. So anyway, sorry for flying through so fast, but to get from one end to the other, um, the battery will only last so long. And if I'm gonna do it as a no editing video, I mean, I'm just walking through, and when the battery dies, the battery dies. And that's kind of how it works. We can check out more mass from Immortal since we're here. We can do that. Look at that. Yep, the battery just said it's gonna die. So anyway, come on down. Get tickets to the Darkness Haunted House Tour. Darkness.fearticket.com. I look at that Beetlejuice kind of mask. Um, and we'll see you. And look at these new Frankenstein masks. These are really cool. Until then, folks, see you later.